Hey, this is Wei from the Six Figure Academy and once again, I'm uh, here behind my desk here in our mini studio that we created in my office here to help remind you that in just a few weeks, we're going to be uh, launching the live podcast radio show called Stop Money Anxiety Now, which is a show designed with interviews, discussions and topics about money mindset, opening up your prosperity channels and all things that have to do with money for you, the entrepreneur. So make sure you uh, tune in to that um, uh, at our sixfigureacademy.com forward slash radio. So enough of that. Let's get into today's topic, which is how uh, utilizing your coach, how to use your coach to make more money or to help your business grow. And really, the discussion today is how most of us, including me, at some point, will underutilize our coach that we have. Now, it could be a coach, it could be a mentor, it could be somebody that we, you know, talk to, to bounce ideas off or to seek advice from, okay? Now, here's the thing. For me, I love having coaches in my life. In fact, I tell people all the time, at this point in my life, I don't think I will ever be without a coach. Why is that? Because time and time again, when I look at my past in terms of when I worked without a coach and when I worked with a coach, statistically, there's, there's been huge differences in terms of results. When I wasn't working with a coach, yeah, I got results, but they were slower and fewer and far between versus the time periods when I uh, worked with a coach in my business and my life, things were just much more productive. I got more done and things that I wanted to get done was, were, were getting done faster. So it's not like I'm saying you must have a coach to get successful, but if you're anything like me, then, if you, then why wouldn't you want to get more successful or create better results faster? That's really the job of a good coach. The problem is that, and this is something that I went through myself, as most of us who have coaches end up underutilizing our coach. And wait, let's talk about how we actually do that. Well, the easiest thing to do is to underutilize our coach is simply to not fully show up into your sessions with your coach. And what I mean by that is not fully showing up is not doing your homework, not doing the tasks that you agreed to do with your coach, um, not showing up for the sessions, uh, rescheduling, or just, just basically that, you know, just not being there, not being fully present. Another way you can underutilize your coach is when your coach offers you support outside of your normal scheduled sessions, and then you come across and try to figure things out by yourself instead of just simply sending an email or a text message reaching out. I've been guilty of that numerous times and I've been reminded over and over again that when I do utilize my coach in the maximum capacity based on the time and energy and money that I put in and get the most out of it, I get better results. Okay, so that's another way that we can underutilize our coach. Uh, another way is giving um, your coach only half the information, okay? In other words, imagine tr trying to create a cake and the ingredients and the recipe only gives you half the ingredients. Well, in a way, your coach is helping you take the raw ingredients and the components of who you are to help you create the ultimate recipe for your success. And if you're only giving your coach half the information, then your coach really is not working with a full deck and really will have a hard time helping you get results. Then at that point, it really isn't the coach's fault per se, but it could be very well a function of you underutilizing your coach. Now, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because, you know, doesn't whether it be me or our coaching programs or any other coaching programs, if you are going to be using a coach and you're investing time, energy, money into it, why not get the most you can and get the best results? And one of the functions of being at and solving that is to stop underutilizing your coach because by utilizing your coach to the fullest capacity, your mentors, your coaches, your teachers, you will get better and faster results. In other words, you will make more money so that you can help your business grow. Now, as an entrepreneur, money is a great metric and I keep talking about money and it's not because it's all about money. Money is just a great ally, facilitator and supporter of what you ultimately want to do. 
Okay, now there are a few other things I challenge you to sit down and think about, and write down all the different ways that you're underutilizing a coach. Now another, one more thing, I'm gonna share one more thing on how you can possibly underutilize your coach, especially for those of you who are coaches out there, you believe in the coaching system, yet, yet you show up at the coaching session with your coach and you're still trying to coach yourself, okay? This is akin to a doctor trying to self-medicate themselves to achieve result. You're gonna be biased and so you will, you'll basically self-medicate and self-coach yourself up to a certain point and you may actually create or recreate the challenges you've been dealing with and that the same challenges that you've actually hired this coach to help you resolve. So one of the things that I recommend for those of you who continue to try to coach yourself during your coaching session with your coach, say that fast 10 times, is to stop doing that and show up fully as possible as you would like your own clients to show up in the, in the midst or in front of your expertise. You hired this coach for a reason, you're working with mentor for a reason, why don't you honor that agreement and get the most out of that relationship? Now I know you probably know somebody who has a coach who's also working with a mentor is also going through the same thing and then maybe they're saying that they're not getting as much as they could out of it. Share them this video, sharing is caring. It could shift their perspective and help them out. So, make sure you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or maybe follow us on Twitter to make sure that you get notified every single time we put out with new content. This year we're putting out a lot of cool new things and if you still haven't downloaded my free ebook or guide from Money Anxiety to Six Figure Mastery, make sure you go to go.thesixfigureacademy.com and download it there. It's free, what have you got to lose? So what are you waiting for? Make sure you stop underutilizing your coach so that you can become more prosperous and more successful in what you're doing in all of your endeavors. It doesn't matter what kind of coach it is, all right? So I look forward to hearing about that and I'll see you in the next video.